Hi y'all, welcome to the channel. I'm Heather. Today we're back in the chicken food forest and today's plant is another perennial. Uh, it is bee balm. Bee balm's hardiness zone is from three to nine. So it has a wide range of hardiness zone. Um, we're gonna go over four benefits of having bee balm in the guard, uh, chicken food forest. Uh, first, let me share with you this massively overgrown bee balm that was taking over the garden area here. We had to cut it back and then I dug up a chunk. So I also saved some cuttings from this plant. If the, um, this ball that I dug up here doesn't survive, then I will be able to have seeds or cuttings. Um, either way, we will have bee balm in the chicken food forest. Uh, but I wanted to get this out of the garden. It was just becoming over, um, overgrown. So we're going to um, start by sharing with you how I prepared the hole. I added some blood meal, some bone meal, and some azomite to the hole before adding the, um, the root ball that I had cut back. It does have some green on it, so um, I do think it'll make it. It's a hardier plant, so... We're going to see, but if not, we do have a backup plan. We got it all planted and watered in. Now we're going to go over the four benefits of having the bee balm in the um, chicken food forest. Uh, the chicken, the chickens can eat it, of course, um, and they will. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get to those health benefits. Number one, the entire plant is antibacterial. It's good for to help keep them from getting sick. Um, we can also take and cut the plant and break it up and put it into their laying area and keep the area healthier um, because it has had those antibacterial properties. Um, it also helps keep the the setting hen area uh, clean, you know, fresher uh, from you know we need that area fresh for those chicks. So the setting hens, we can keep those in those boxes and. Um, It'll help keep them healthier for the chickens, for those hens. All right, guys. So, um, number two, bee balm. <coughs> bee balm has niacin, which is good for chickens. It's good for their eyes, their skin, and their feathers. So, niacin is good for the outside. So, number one is good for the inside. Number two is good for the outside. So number three is that it's got antioxidants in it. Is it is important? Antioxidant is important um, because it helps in the reproductive and productive uh, performance of chickens. And uh, antioxidants are also good for just health maintenance. Um, I think we've we've gone over that before, and one of the, the other videos. Um, health maintenance is a good thing. So I think all these plants have just gotten so many health benefits to them. And they're, again, these are perennials. Nope. Number four is it's high in fiber. I don't notice we have a problem with the fiber part, but you never know. So, guys, I hope these plants have helped you so far in um, learning more about what's healthier for your birds. Now, if you don't build a chicken food forest, you can add these plants to their diet um, just by adding them uh, you can dry them and you can add them in their their diet and with their feed um, you can add them fresh uh, I find that they like to peck at them at will and rather than me feed them uh, they don't eat them as well so that's why I'm creating their own food forest so that way they can eat um, eat better and they don't really clean the plants um, you know they don't wipe the plant out they just peck at them uh, randomly thankfully um, so I will give you an update tour as soon as we get some of these plants into place and so you know and let you see how they're looking I'll share with you here the bee bomb the way it looks it's looking pretty rough but again we do have um, the backup plan for this bee bomb okay guys so if this video has helped you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with someone you think that might benefit from this video don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notifications bell so that way when I put out more food forest videos, you are updated. So, until next, guys, until next time, guys, happy homesteading. 